Hello YouTube, it is Everything Epan here, and in this video we are doing a video tutorial on how to install Linux Mint 21 in VirtualBox. Now this is codenamed Vanessa based on their website, um, and it is the latest version of Linux Mint at the time of recording this video. Uh, figured I haven't done a Linux Mint tutorial in quite a while, so figured I'd get an updated one out to you guys uh, for Linux Mint. Um, so without further ado, uh, with that being said, we'll just get straight into the uh, tutorial here. Uh, so it'll just be a couple links in the description. Of course, VirtualBox will be there if you don't already have it. Uh, the downloads page will be in the description to download it if you do not have it. Um, so get that for your classified OS as you need. And then there will also be a link, a second link there will be the download page on the Linux Mint website uh, to download the ISO um, of the version you pick or the edition you pick for Linux Mint. So. Again, as you can see here, Linux Mint 21 Vanessa is the latest version at the time of recording. And they also have three different editions. They have the Cinnamon Edition, the Made Edition, and the XFC Edition. Um, the Cinnamon one, as it lists here, is the most popular one. Um, this will be the one that I will use in this video as well. Um, and they even have some installation instructions here too, if you want to read through that. Um, but download the version you wish. It's relatively the same process for each one of these, but again, uh, basically I'll just be using the Cinnamon Edition um, in this video. Um, but once you've got those downloaded, uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and open up VirtualBox if you do not have it open already. And we're gonna create a virtual machine. And for this, I'm just gonna call it Linux Mint. It does have Ubuntu as the recommended version um, or the automatically selected version, but I'll just change it to through Linux 64 bit and then we'll hit next. It's going to ask how much RAM we want to dedicate to it. You don't have to dedicate a ridiculous amount to it just because it is Linux and it doesn't take much to run. I'm just going to dedicate four gigs uh, to it here and hit next. And it's going to ask us to create our virtual hard drive here. So we're going to hit create. Uh, you can pick any file type that you wish. Um, I normally just do VDI um, since I don't really transfer my virtual hard disks and the VDI would only work in VirtualBox, but if you do do so, probably would recommend doing uh, VMDK um, for that or VHD, either one. Um, but pick your file type that you wish, hit next, and then um, this one doesn't really matter either. You can read up on what each of these mean. Basically, dynamically allocated um, uses however much the virtual hard disk takes up as it goes. Fixed size, it will just, you know, whatever you set it to is what it will set it to on your computer. It'll just take up that much space. Um, at the start of it. Um, I'm just going to select dynamically allocated. You can pick either one, go ahead and hit next. And then it does recommend here, uh, this is for the size of the drive. It has a recommendation at eight gigs. You actually need at least 15 gigs of virtual hard drive space to install Linux Mint. So I'm actually going to make this a 20 gig hard drive. Um, I would recommend at least a minimum of 15, but 20 would probably be best just in case to have a little bit extra space. Go ahead and hit create. It's going to create a virtual machine here. Um, should put it at the bottom of the list here if you do have uh, multiple machines. Uh, but just make sure that is highlighted. And we'll go into the settings and we'll get the ISO inserted. So we'll go to the storage tab on the uh, left with we'll the empty disk here. And we'll hit the disk uh, and hit choose a disk file. Um, it was in that recent list there, but um, you'll want to browse to where you saved the Linux Mint ISO, as you can see, I do have a folder of them here with all of the previous versions that I've used. Um, but of course, the one that I have is called Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon 64-bit.iso. Um, describing that, this is Linux Mint version 21. Uh, this is the Cinnamon edition, and it's 64-bit. Um, so it may be may, uh, named differently if you do the Mate edition or whichever, but uh, make sure you select your specified ISO and get it inserted in there and then hit OK. It'll insert that ISO and now we can go ahead and start the virtual machine. So we'll start the virtual machine here. It'll come up with a grub menu here. Basically you just want to hit the top option that says start Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon 64 bit. So hit enter and it will start up into the operating system and should play the startup sound actually. There is a startup sound with this, so. And there you go, it did play through there. So um, loads up into the operating system here. And the thing of course about Linux that uh, most of you may already know is uh, with versions of 
Linux, of course, uh, Linux, Mint, and Ubuntu, just to name a couple, you can actually go ahead and test the operating system without installing it. Um, so you can actually maneuver through the operating system and test it out if you do wish, uh, not actually have to install it. Uh, the thing about that is, is if you do end up saving anything on it or making changes and want to keep that for future use, um, every time you do shut down the machine and restart it, um, the changes you know go away and it resets since you're just testing it out and it's not actually saving it to the hard drive this is basically running off of the uh iso or if you actually if you did it on actual hardware it would run off of your cd or dvd they have this uh burns too um but for this of course uh we're here mainly for the installation so we are going to go through the installation tutorial so basically for this just double click on the install linux mint disk right there and it will launch the install wizard So may take a little bit to load that up, but eventually you should see that install window come up. And the first thing that will have us uh, come up with is that welcome screen and it will have us pick our language. So pick your specified language and hit continue. And then we'll have us do our keyboard layout next. Pick that as you wish and you can actually test that out here and hit continue. You can also do a detect to automatically detect your keyboard layout. Um, and now on this, you can do these multimedia codecs if you want. I'm just going to check it just so I have everything installed. Um, you don't have to, but it just says it's required, obviously, for certain video formats and rendering for certain sites. So um, we'll hit continue. It'll proceed on to the next step. Uh, you'll see down here it's preparing uh, some drivers, uh, ironically saying Ubuntu drivers. And then ask how we want to install it here. So obviously, since there's not any other operating systems and there's nothing on the hard drive, we'll just want to keep it selected at Erase Disk and install Linux Mint. So go ahead and hit Install Now. And it's going to confirm that we're writing changes to the disk. Just hit Continue to confirm that we're writing the changes to the disk. And it's going to ask for where the location we are on what time zone we're in. So uh, make sure that is set to as you wish, or if you wanted to keep it just to its default, um, I think it does actually, it seems like it automatically detects it. Um, and then go ahead and hit continue. And then this is where we're going to set up our user accounts. Um, so it asks for your name uh, personally here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just type my name and I'm going to call the computer name, I'm just going to call it Linux Mint. And then the username, it does have it in all lowercase. Uh, that is how they do their usernames, is to be in all lowercase. And you do have to have um, a password to continue. Um, so make up any kind of a password that you want. Um, and when you type it in, uh, they should match. It's like I had to enter that wrong. There we go. Um, and you can do it to log in automatically on the boot up, or you can require it each time. We'll just do it to require and hit continue. And then it will go through the process of actually completing the installation. So it's going to copy files, which this portion of the setup can take some time. Um, so just let it sit and do its thing. And it will do the rest of the installation for uh, Linux Mint here. So I'll let this uh, sit through on the uh, stages of the setup down here. Um, there may be a few other things after copying files that we'll need to go forth with. Um, and then uh, should be good to go ahead and reboot. So I'm going to let this sit for you guys here, and then I'll be back with you guys once it's uh, kind of close to uh, being done either on this stage or if we hit our restart point. All right, so it'll go through a few more things on the uh, setup here, um, and then it should come up with this prompt that says that the installation is complete and that it's finished, um, and that you can either continue testing or do a restart. So we're going to go ahead and do the restart here. So we'll hit restart now. And I'm actually going to remove the, uh, there we go, it does tell us to actually remove the installation medium. And I think it actually does it by itself at times. So once that's uh, taken care of, just hit enter. It's going to go ahead and reboot the virtual machine here and should load up into Linux Mint. So I'll have the boot logo. And then I think the sound either may play now or after we log in. Um, so it should come up with the, Login screen here, just type in the password that you had associated with the account and hit enter and it will have us log in. So there it played the startup sound 
and uh, we are booted into the operating system and it now has us come up with this little welcome window here now. Uh, basically, it's just kind of a guide on some of the different things um, that can be installed here. So um, the installation portion of this is complete. Um, as for, uh, excuse me, as for installing the guest editions here, um, you can insert the ISO and it will actually uh, go through with installing the guest editions when you type in the passwords, um, since it should prompt to do it automatically. Um, so just type in the password associated with your user account and it will begin to install uh, guest editions here for Linux Mint. Um, so you can actually go ahead and just kind of let this sit and it will run through its process here of installing uh, guest editions on uh, Linux Mint. Um, so again, we'll just let this run through and I'll come back to you guys once that is all uh, fit. So actually right as I was pausing that, it actually did finish up here. So um, we'll go ahead and just hit return to close the window um, and it will ask us, uh, it did ask us to do a reboot. So we're gonna do that now. We'll restart. And we'll come up with boot logo once again, and that should prompt us to sign in. So we'll type in the password associated with the account and hit enter. And it of course does play that startup sound again. Um, so now uh, we do have the guest editions installed. Um, for this so um now that we've got that all installed basically that is really everything there is to it with installing uh linux mint in virtualbox so um did hope you guys enjoyed that video here it was actually a fairly quick process fairly easy process to get this installed um very similar to of course previous versions of linux mint so uh, if you guys did enjoy this video certainly can leave a like down below uh, if you do have any future video suggestions, have any ideas for future videos, you can uh, leave a comment down below with your suggestions um, or anything you'd like to comment. And if you are not subscribed to the channel as of right now, you can hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification to be notified of my future uploads and keep up to date on my content. So again, this is a video tutorial on how to install Linux Mint 21 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.